Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, hi Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, let's talk about it. So, you know, off camera, when I was shuffling for you guys, I got the Wheel of Fortune. I asked the cards, what does Aquarius need to know right now? And I got the Wheel of Fortune. So, of course, your fortune is changing. Your destiny is changing. Um, this is where you're supposed to be at this given time, at this given uh, at that at this place. You may feel like, okay, I want to get out of this place. I don't like it. Um, I, I need to change a change of scenery. I need changing my money. It's the will of fortune says it's coming. Everything is coming together. It's a 10 card. So it was upright. So it looks like you're going to be in the place of receiving good energy in, in terms of closing out old cycles and going into new ones. It says that your psychic abilities at this time could be heightened or someone around you, psychic abilities are heightened or there's like telekinesis, telecommunication. Okay, not telecommunication, but baby, you're into telecommunication, but tele uh, telepathy. Um, it also talks about maybe a person that you're thinking about. Hey, is that my soulmate? Yes. The card says with the will of fortune, yes, it's your soulmate. But that doesn't mean jump out of the chair, you know, jump through the roof. It could just mean that maybe they're a karmic soulmate. Maybe there's something for you to learn. I don't know. Maybe they're just in your life for a season. You have to figure that out either by yourself with spirit or maybe go to a tarot card reader. I don't know. Um, but the person that you're thinking about, yes, they are a soulmate. Um, you could be meeting someone who could be like love at first sight or love at first lay. I don't know. It also says that wherever you are, again, it's a, where you're supposed to be. It also says that this is the time for you to take aligned action. It says the universe is lined things up for you to move. Take action. Move. Take the next step now. Standing still is not what you need to do. You'll miss the opportunity. It says don't miss the opportunity. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. It also says that um maybe you got the opportunity for your social circle to change. Either it, you know, it tightens up, it gets uh, smaller, or it gets larger. Okay. Um... What else does it say? It says this could be a time for this is hard work paying off. It could be a time of just calling a truce, if not like a reunion and reconciliation. You just say, OK, you know, it, it is what it is, you know, um, agree to disagree, if you will. This could be a time where you're going into business with, you know, I don't know, maybe a counterpart. Again, this could be like a, a remake or a remodel or doing yourself over or how, your self-identity or how you identify to the world. Because it's like something comes in for you where you can remake you. It. All right. So let's see who you were in the past, Aquarius. Let's see what. Okay. Cards are just thrown up. Uh, Chiron. So healing. In the past, you were healing, Aquarius. Um, so you were like... You went through a, a period of using your healing powers, okay? Um, you could be seeing 55 a lot. That number is stalking me. Um, 
55, 55, or you can be seeing 555, five, five, I don't know. Uh, significant change. It's also a time for you to do something. It says go with the changes. Go with the flow. Don't try to, you know, resist. Um, move away from. Take the road of least resistance. Okay? Um, so in the past, you were having growth. You were amends. So maybe you were making amends with yourself or with situations that happened because in the past you were doing some healing. You were releasing. Um, you were just being more soft with yourself. You maybe were connecting with divinity, um, superpowers. So you may have even activated a superpower within you or really come into understanding that maybe you have superpowers. You are the superpower. You may have even gone through like healing generational trauma, you know, or thinking about it on at least a larger scope or scale. Like, okay, my mom went through that and my, her moms went through that and my dad went through that and then my dad before that. And then, you know, you may be really going through, uh, the lineage genealogy, um, really going through and trying to break something here, be the difference, make the difference. Um, so that, okay. So when you say, when we, when we think of generational cur curses, generational curses, breaking those, breaking the chain, right? Because the chain locks you in. It, it keeps you bound. Right. And most times, uh, by force, not at will. Because if if I'm willing to be in something, I don't need a chain, right? So it's a, so keep that in mind. Um, so the chain was keeping you in something that maybe you didn't want to be in, and maybe even other people, other family members, um, or maybe they just kind of conceded to it, just kind of became subservient to it. You could be a generational curse breaker, but Aquarius, look at it in a larger scope. It's not just for you. It's for the generations to come, the family members to come, your name will ring bells. You'll be the first to do. You'll be the first to, you fill in the blank. You'll be the family member that they'll talk about 30 years, 40 years, 50 years from now, who brought this into fruition for our family. You will be the generational curse breaker. You'll be the first, um, you'll be the first to institute, to instigate something new in your family so that's what generational curse is not just for you but it's for to come okay so legacy coming up for me legacy you know your legacy is gonna be strong you know if that's what you are trying to um really leave and embark on and so um i can't remember the guy's name but um really good uh like i guess pastor but definitely teacher and um he, he was asking the, the class questions. He was like, okay, so you, um, you go through school K through 12 and after K through 12, you make plans to, and most people yelled out, go to college, go to the military, wherever. Okay. And then after you matriculate from college or military or wherever, we make plans to, some people yelled out, get married. Um, get, go get a job, you know, okay? And then when you get a job or you get married, when well, you make plans to start a family, buy a house, people are just yelling out all kinds of things, right? And then he's like, okay. And then um, after you have the family and um, you have to, you know, have a family and uh, you get married and so forth, then you make plans to, um, you make plans for the kids to go to school and you make plans for the kids to do what they want to do and, you start to plan for retirement. The people were yelling, you know, out, things of those natures. And they said, okay, and after that, like people were like, oh, you get a vacation home. You travel. You you enjoy the, you know, the last years of your life. And, and then it was like, after that, then some people were like, you make plans to get a will. You make plans to die. And then he said, and then after that, you make plans to, after you die. And the, the room went quiet because it brought everybody to a place of understanding. We're making all of these plans in this lifetime, in this very space and time right now. But we're not making plans for what is to come because there is something on the other side. Unfortunately, we don't know. Everybody can, you know, come with their hypotheses and their opinion and their conjectures and all of this and their theories. But we, nobody will know until you close your eyes and then you close your eyes and you don't wake up. Then you know. So are you making plans 
for that transition. Mm. That was deep. Um, so anyhow, you know, everybody's making plans, you know, making plans, making plans, making plans. So I don't know how we got there from Chiron and healing, but anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> All right, where is Aquarius right now? Where is Aquarius right now? I guess it's something for you to think about while you're in that cubicle, while you're doing your work. It's all good. It's something for you to ponder on, right? All right, let's see. Um, where is Aquarius right now? Where is Aquarius right now? Trying. Very nice. Flow. Okay, so harmonize, aids, enriches, gifts, rhymes, supports, indulges, eases, enjoys. So you're in a place of just enjoying for some of you, or you will be. Trying and flow, it really gives me the energy of empress. So some of you have done the work, the healing work, the letting go, the trying to break the generational curses. Oh, we got it. We, we were there because we were talking about generational curse and how it's for, you know, the next generation and the next generation. You know, it's not just making plans for you, Aquarius, but it's making plans for and for, it, you know, and, you know, anyway. Um, so right now, some of you are in the energy of trying, flow. You're letting things flow. You know, those words sound so simple, you know, and, and they are simple words. What is a four letter word, right? Flow. Um, but it's, it's impactful because if you think about life and you think about how you operate and right now, you aren't really flowing for some of us. We aren't really flowing. We're really rigid. We're really tight. We really know what we want, how we want it. And we're really stuck. We're rigid. We're not in the flow of, um, it doesn't look like, so I need to do this. It doesn't feel like, so I've got to go and do that. Um, I don't think so. I need to go and get ahead of that. Um, I really don't know. So let me go and do this thing. So you're, you're really moving in the energy of, you know, trusting your, um, your senses, your five senses, um, more than you are trusting the flow, the, the faith or having the faith or keeping the faith or being the flow of abundance, understanding that it's a dance, a blunt dance. You've got to, you know, when you dance with somebody, hopefully you're in rhythm. You're in, you're in sync. You guys are flowing when you're dancing. It, you, <laughs> you're not doing your own thing and they doing that. Then y'all both need to sit down and stop scaring people. Okay. But, um, when you're, when you're in the flow of, when you're expecting, when you're in a place of expectation, you're open, you're flowing, like the river, like we talked about, I think, in a previous uh, reading. You're just expecting, and you're going with the flow. Okay, the, the bank account decreased by $1,000, okay? Maybe it decreased by $5,000, maybe it decreased. Now, you know, we're, we're in the red here, but I'm still flowing because I know that I'm, I've done the work. I'm expecting. I'm in an energy of expectation. And I'm still doing the work. I'm not doing as much, but I know that reward, recompense is coming to me. It's due unto me. For universal law says that it is. For I've done the work. I planted the seed. I will see harvest. That's that's just universal law. Whether it's great harvest or it's a small harvest, I will see harvest. You go plant some seeds in the ground right now. Depending on what kind of plant, fruit, uh, vegetable it is, it will sprout. If not now, later in its season, right? But that's universal law. You do the work, you plant it, you leave it, you till it, you 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 water it. It will you will have harvest. You just can't get away from that. It just is what it is. It's a law. You know, so some of you, you're in a place of, i done the work. I tilled the ground. I, I planted the seed. I did it over and over again. I just kept showing up. I just kept waking up. I just kept clocking in. I just kept doing it. I kept going through the healing work. When I thought I healed, I had to heal some more. When I thought I healed that, something else came up. And I just kept doing it. So now I'm in the energy of flow. Okay? Uh, you got to understand that everything is energy. You got to understand that if life is yet but a big equation when you start to add shit up and it makes sense then you know you're in the flow of when you when you're adding things up and it doesn't make sense then you know you got to go backwards you got to fix it if you know that you're in a place of expectation but you ain't done shit 
then it doesn't add up, right? The math ain't mathing. So you need to go and do something. You need to have transition there. You cannot be expecting something from nothing. It doesn't work like that. You can't be expecting food in your refrigerator if you haven't put any in there. You don't go to the refrigerator, open it up, and it's a gang of food in there. No, if you haven't put anything in there, you have to have something so that you can have something. You don't get something from nothing, okay? My, my nose is itching. Somebody need to hear this. Uh, Spirit want to preach to somebody right now um, because I think sometimes we get too heavenly bound, too spiritual to the point where we're losing sense of practicality. We still live in a practical world. We still need practical things. You still have to eat. You still have to pay for it. You still have to go to. You still have to show up to. Some of you still have a boss or manager or whatever you want to call them. You still. You're not a spirit. You can't float around and act like you are one. You've got to still understand that you're having you're you're a spiritual being but you're having a human experience and you still have the rest in that energy see spirit but you're having a human experience that's two that's duality that that is flow you're gonna have to and that's also like um it's a flow but it's also um i lost the word anyway some of you just need to you know kind of scale it back it, it's not rocket science it really isn't you want this and you want that, but you, you've got to do something to get it. It's like, so, in the Bible, there's a story, I think, you know, the woman with the, the empty vessels, the, the empty, I think she kept oil in them you know, for her to make certain things, breads and so forth. Some of you, you know the story and, um, you know, God told her to bring the empty vessels. You know, she had to do something. Bring the empty vessels. When you filled it. You know, some of you just, y'all don't even have a vessel. What you just want. I don't know what you want. I don't know. It, it just, the math ain't mathing. Come on. In the future, where is Aquarius? In the future, where is Aquarius? conjunction empowerment that's what i'm talking about some of y'all you know you've done the work come on it's coming there's a triangle here so that talks about in the right now where you are presently it talks about creation feminine masculine divinity clear mind clear heart clear conscience Binding, loosing, knowledge. Can't have nothing without that three. So it's like some of you are really creating a flow for yourself. And look, in the near future, you have conjunction, empowerment. Combines with So the universe is going to combine. Wow, allies. Con the universe is about to concentrate on you, saturate you. That's so funny because I just talked about, you know, the, the, the Bible story of the woman and the vessels. And the oil saturates, so it's like, but the, you about to be saturated with overrides, overwhelms, man, Aquarius. Some of you about to really get a real big blessing, but to pour you out a blessing, press down, shaking together, and running over for you, Aquarius, definitely. Wow, fourth house at the bottom of the day, roots, family, home, background. So funny because we were just talking about uh, lineage, genealogy, generational curse. Self-care, shelter. Some of you are going to get a new home, new dwelling. Your habits will change, okay? Real estate coming in for you. Some of you could do real estate. You're thinking about your background, your family, your roots, okay? Um, you're going to come into a very comfortable place. Man, Aquarius. Man, Aquarius. Let's see what, what is really happening for Aquarius moving forward. Um... What's happening? This is so absolutely beautiful. Okay? It's absolutely beautiful for you. Because, um, especially for those of you, you know who you are. You've done the work. Some of you are doing the work. Just keep at it. Wow. In the past, you were leaving. Oh, you were leaving. Okay? Uh, this card specifically talks about 
leaving a toxic situation behind, whether it's a relationship, friendship, family, job, whatever. It was just toxic. So that means it was unhealthy. It was sickening. It was making you, you know, had bad, bad health, if you will. Uh, it could have even been bad health. You were leaving it behind healing, you know, healing from that toxic toxicity, or maybe karma, karmic situation. Yeah. And in the past, you were changing your mind. Just wanted to come out too. Yeah, in the past, you just started changing your mind, your thoughts. Some of you started to understand and get the fact that, okay, you can point the finger at this person being karmic and toxic and narcissistic and psychopathic and crazy and this and that and blah, blah, blah. But what are you? Because you allowed it. You enabled it. You stayed with it. You stuck with it. You attracted it like a moth to a flame. So some of you started changing your mind in terms of, okay, so, you know, I need to, I need to drill down on me. Damn the other person. Shit, they need to get their own healing. I'm going to work on mine so that I can have in the near future conjunction, empowerment. So, so that's very good, Aquarius. You know, when you're ascending, when you're really getting it, when you start asking the questions of why and, and, um, how can I fix it? And why haven't I, why am I not getting it? And you start really drilling down on you because it's easy to point the finger. You know, you know the saying, point the finger in this, what, four fingers pointing at you, three fingers and the thumb. I don't know shit. Um, there's some fingers pointing at you when you point the finger at somebody else, right? Um, So you now you're getting it now. Like, okay, you, you play a part in this. Can't nobody do to you what you don't allow. So that, that's beautiful. All right, so let's see. Uh, trine, flow. Some of my Aquarius are in trine and flow right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. It could have something. Whoa. Whatever this is, like, you may have fallen into it, Aquarius. Because uh, this card just fell twice gracefully aging so like this talks about maturity it talks about even like you're such in a flow of good energy or great energy that maybe you even look different or you may be older and you look younger for your age or um i don't know the years are getting shaved off somehow this could even be transfiguration you know when the appearance is made more beautiful Look it up. I don't know. You, this may even be okay. Of course, you um, maybe even um, started some new beauty regimen. You know, you go into uh, you, you went to a department store. You went somewhere, and um, you, you got what you needed to um, look better. And there's nothing wrong with that. You may have even gone and gotten cosmetic surgery or something cosmetic done. Um. Gracefully aging. This talks about maturity also. And from the inside out too. Um, this talks about wisdom. So in order to have that trine and that flow. You learn something and you're, you're resting on your wisdom. So that means you're learning. You have knowledge of the past. Therefore you're, you're now applying the knowledge that you have. From past experience. You're applying it in the now. See knowledge ain't no good. If you ain't going to apply it. If I tell you how to fix a fighter jet, if you ain't got no fighter jet to go fix, then what the hell you need to learn that for? It doesn't you know good. Like, you know, knowledge without application. You, so, so some of you are really looking at past experience. You're learning from it. And you, you, you gain wisdom and you're applying it. And you also may even be sharing it. Some of you come out of the old person you were. Maybe you were hella rowdy, just crazy. Like you were ready. If this, somebody came with it, you was ready for them. You know, you might have met them at the door. You know, you might have got it started. I don't know. Um, but you, you, you've really done a lot of healing, changing your mind, and you're gracefully aging. Like so, this is beautiful. Like um, from the inside out, from the outside in. You know, um, all together. Let's see uh, where you are in the near future, Aquarius. I swear these readings, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get them down to like 15 minutes. Uh, grief work. 
So in the near future, you may be um, going to a grief counselor. Something about allies. It saturates, concentrates, activates, intensifies, author authorizes. That ain't no damn word. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we're going to keep going. Public school education is coming right on out. Um, allies with, combines with. I'm such an Aquarius. I got to get the word right. So I'm probably going to come back to that. Anyhow, um, <laughs> grief work, con uh, conjunction. Okay. Uh, grief work in conjunction. So, I don't know, some of you might even be using some talent to help others. Uh, yeah, you might be using your talent, maybe, oh, so you might be in the capacity of, uh, like, psychologist, therapist, um, yes, yeah, psychologist, therapist, something of that nature, to where you're helping others. You, you've come into some authority. joins forces with you may even help somebody else heal there could even be a friend coming back all this pink hair um there there could be a friend a healing lovers and friends also yeah you help other people gain their sobriety clear thinking mindset maybe even like um like altogether like a uh, chemical sobriety like oh you could be going into like a like therapy you're trying to help people okay so some of you could even you want to teach you want to help you want to use that gift so in the, in the near future you will be doing that okay you'll be helping people you're going to become the authority on that all right so we got me picking up this neck all right let's see what's going on all right and in the past page of cups so you were developing your clairvoyance, listening to your intuition, um, learning to become more emotionally mature because there was emotionally immaturity. So that's where you got the emotional immaturity. That's where you got like a lot of lashing out and you got like a lot of, you know, walking away and gaslighting and either it was you or, or um, maybe you walk away to make people run and chase after you. Or you didn't deal with your emotions accurately, or you were passive, passive aggressive, um, you were an enabler. I mean, whatever you were, Aquarius. But that was in the past, and you are no longer that. Uh, you, you've gone through the healing. Let's see. In the near, in the now, where is Aquarius? Wow. Um, the big payback, and you're waiting for it. The flow is coming to you. Um, yeah, you're in a place of like royalty, learning, divinity, spirituality with purple also. The big payback. So if somebody has to pay you back or it's payback, um, that's again, harvest, right? You planted the seed, you've done the work, you know it's coming. It's the payback because you've already done the work. So maybe you didn't get, it's almost like back pay, right? Like you, um, you did the work. And uh, you didn't get paid for it. You were just waiting for the pay. So the big payback, purple. And this could be coming from spirituality. This could be a big spiritual gift. Um, a few months ago, I think what I got for Aquarius, it was like all bees. It was um, it was a uh, blue sky, breeze, benevolence, big blessing. So it was blue sky, breeze, benevolence, big blessing so Aquarius that could um you know resonate for you looks like you've come into a place of royalty spiritual royalty because you learned something okay um your name or a name or anything that you're waiting for I don't know something it could start with one of these letters a t c k w r e I always almost get like attack right here I don't know you know um so maybe you were under attack in the past and now that's being rerouted or it's already been rerouted. Uh, but anyhow, those letters could be of significance to you. Could be your, your first, last name, middle, initial, anyone else's. Maybe it's an organization you work for. I don't know. 
And so those letters could be of significance to you. Um, in the near future, we have conjunction, conjunction and grief work. So Aquarius, you did so much healing on yourself. You about to heal other people. That's absolutely beautiful. Damn, Aquarius, that's so beautiful. Congratulations. All right, let's see. Conjunction, empowerment in the near future. You about to show other people. You got you just like a a big fountain of, of um a spring. You know, flowing life, water, wealth. You know, you got so much to give. All right, let's see. And I think it's more than just money. When people say you got so much to give, they automatically go to money. You know. Yeah. You know, give a man a fish to eat for a day. You teach him how to fish, right? You know. Um, conjunction and grief work. So, uh, King of Wands. Okay, so yeah, you something about strength and your desire. You desire to maybe teach people. Um, set, you know, like um, this could even just be spontaneous and unexpected growth. Maybe in a business or starting your own business. Okay. It could even be a home business. Um, you're to make some type of move. Okay, you're 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 not afraid, unafraid to move. Um, you have an idea. You actually you, you take action. This also could be adventure. Going on an adventure in terms of starting something new. This is luck. This is action, though. This is your own business. This is what you do. This is you showing others your, the way, showing them how you get out of something, showing them what to do. Because the, the wands are about doing, motivation, action. So, I don't know, it could even be psychic and karma. And showing people how to rid themselves of the karma. Showing people how to heal themselves. Wow, Aquarius. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so in the... Uh, um, let's see. Uh, let's get some cards for the future for Aquarius. So beautiful, Aquarius. This is like one of the most beautiful readings. Because it really just reads of somebody actually healed themselves. And they're coming into like a big, a big, the big payback, a big blessing. Um, and showing others the way too. Okay. Um, in the near future for Aquarius, these, this one just popped out. Wow. A gift. Universe. Universe gifting you something. Maybe around the next holiday. Uh, maybe around the holiday season, if you celebrate or if you, I don't know, you know, everybody's in a different place in the world. Um, we've got that reducing to an eight, that 17 reducing to an eight. So we've got money, other people's money, um, large sums of money. We've got inheritance. We've got loans. We've got taxes. We've got, um, yeah, of course, large sums of money, intimacy, maybe even sex or I don't know. This is a this is a gift though. It's a it's a gift. You know, it's something that you can let's see, what is this? You gonna help other people your gift is gonna help other people come out of prison, baby. You gonna start to un unlock you know, break some chains here. Back to that generational curse. Chain like a a chain breaker. You gonna help other people do this in their life. Imprisonment gonna help other people come out of that mental, emotional, energetic prison. You're gonna help them manifest better because that reduces to an eleven. You're gonna help them make better decisions here. Okay. Um, you're gonna help people see the the bigger picture with the King of Wands coming out there. Um, all right. Yeah. Wow. You're gonna be in high demand and high honor. Aquarius. Wow. And with the family room. Okay, so you may even be getting married or something may change in your own personal life. Um, spirit's going to unlock some type of knowing to you. are going to get the keys to the family room. So something's not being, something that was locked once locked to you is now going to be open. The keys, okay. And then also you're going to help people again back to family and generational. Maybe come out of generational you can help people be a generational curse breaker, come out of poverty and poverty mindset, come out of lack, come out of um, lack of confidence. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, mature woman. So some of you about to be like the high priestess, okay? You're going to be the go-to person. 
where you you bring harmony into people's lives. They come to you. See, they're in disharmony and disarray. And they come to you to get clarity. A wise woman. Okay. You may be alone. Wow, there's that official man or official person. Or are you just going to be an official person? Um, it says that you're going to give good advice to people. It might even be one-liners or, you know, one sentence. Because, um, first of all, you're really wise. And then second of all, um, you're not attached to the outcome. Like, you give the advice, they take it, they do it, they don't. It is what it is. It doesn't affect you. You're not going to be up at night, you know, walking the floors because these people won't do what you do advise them to do it just is what it is um you also could be declarated or get some type of declaration or public celebration for what you've done or what you do are you going to be the official person to go to what is this what is um in the near future official person and all this stuff let's see okay <laughs> change yeah, your life is going to change quickly, Aquarius, by way of a message coming to you. Maybe in seven days, seven hours. I'll give it as far as seven weeks, but this card talks about seven days. Um, Something comes to you. It comes, like, something small can turn to hours of damn, that's so crazy. Something small can turn to something really big. Because you got the child which talks about maybe a small offer um uh, maybe even a declaration of love um this could even be like maybe somebody wanting to get, get back together this could be an opportunity from a job it could be something small but it turns into something great with the great fortune showing up it turns into something um solidified um magnified so it's gonna be goes goes from small to big so maybe your business starts small. You start to help one person. And then you help one person. And they tell three people. And then those three people come. And then those three people you help. And then they tell six people. And then, you know, something starts big. I mean, it starts small, but it turns big. This could even be like somebody coming back and maybe offering you something. A small token of appreciation, of love, a gesture, declaration. And then now they, you know, you guys are getting married or... You realize something. What is this about, though, um, Spirit, if you will? Sometimes they won't. So, if they won't tell you, they won't tell you. Um, it is what it is, right? Um, something changes fast, like overnight. You gotta start, like, you just gotta, I don't know. Something changes fast overnight. Uh, child, great fortune. Thief. Um, okay. And the curveball. So something hidden. Journey. Could be a masculine energy. And adjudication. So this could be somebody coming back and maybe wanting you to hear them out, wanting to clear the air, come back into harmony, balance with you, make something right. They can't get you out of their system systematic, systematically. Um, systemic uh, they have to journey to you they got to come back to you they have to make something right so this can might even be somebody feeling like before they can go forward they have to go backwards um, hear them out what is this about though what is this about is it what is um, yeah so it could be like um, feeling like this might just be the clearing of their karma. Like somebody just wanted to get something off of their chest because they're in bad health about what they did to you or didn't do for you or did to you or how they kept some relationship as friends with benefits or how they wouldn't let something grow. They stagnated a connection, how they wouldn't grow up or um, I don't know. Somebody may be coming back trying to clear their their karma, their energy. Uh, what is this about? One more card. Yeah, new pathway here. This could be somebody you were dealing with for like one to two years. They got to come back and say something to you. Got to make it right. Got to make it right. It's like the universe is, I don't know, making your enemies your footstool. Got to come back and apologize to him. Maybe you're getting the last laugh or I don't know what this is. Um... This could even be a part of your recompense, you know, making these people come back and apologize and um, 
accept him dragonfly be like hard to finding out things coming to light adapt change him so it's like um yeah maybe this person coming back and they're gonna tell you some things that they left out you know willingly lying by omission now they're gonna come back and tell you the truth yeah this was somebody who wanted you to chase them it was like a codependent relationship they had fear of abandonment so why don't i leave first why don't i make you run after me and also if you ever really realize that i have nothing to offer you you might leave so this is a person who kept up a lot of games and hoopla and drama because if you really look at the real person who they are you realize they didn't have much to offer you anyway so it was, it was like theatrics a farce this verse was fake um the phoenix yeah they see you rising they might want to rekindle renew um maybe even they see that you have a changed mind so they're coming back under some pretense it could be false pretense i don't know but it's like maybe they even prompted to come back to you but you're in such a high place a high vibration aquarius you might see through the false the falseness falsehood addictions yeah damn this person addicted to you now play games but you lied to you manipulated you the shoe is on the other foot now you know when they had you chasing them now they they're, they're willing ready to chase you and they're kind of stuck on you now they're stuck on you because of your changed mind because you won't go back on your word because you won't play games with them because you're no longer stuck on them because you won't chase them you know um it's an it's an interesting dynamic it's an interesting energy because um i think i told you this uh, a number of readings ago but aquarius so you have to learn self-awareness okay um because sometimes aquarius is not aware of themselves what that means is you're not aware of your energy your vibration of how people perceive you, partake you, um, how they see you. Um, therefore, you know, you'll just kind of be like, okay, well, I'm leaving. You know, this is, I'm, I'm really done with this at this present point. And then you leave and you're so unaware of the magnitude of your presence. And when you leave, you're unaware that all of that, that w what you take with you is like a deep, it, it leaves a, like a deep precipice, void, cavity, valley in people's lives. Like a deep, like a crater hit them. You know, and if you have this deep impression. And that was you, Aquarius. And when you leave, you left that big, deep crater, valley impression. And there's they, nobody else. Nothing else can feel that. And therefore... You know, when you finally leave um, and you're not coming back, it, it kind of turns into addiction for other people. Because, again, they can't find that energy anywhere else with anyone else. No one else will do it. Not even another Aquarius. Mm, that you See, have you ever thought about that? You're like, well, you know, Aquarius is pretty dynamic. Maybe they'll find another Aquarius. Maybe that Aquarius isn't attracted to them, doesn't want them like you wanted them. That's what I'm saying. Your in, you, you got... Your energy really matters. You know, um, sometimes you guys are unaware of the magnitude of yourself. Uh, you, you, you just self, you kind of lack self-awareness. Maybe in a good way. Maybe if you were just walking around all puffed up and with your chest, you know, puffed out and boastful, people wouldn't like you as much. But um, uh, it's like you're really not aware like damn why can't they just move on especially for some of you Aquarius you have a lot of Aquarius in your chart it's like you just don't it doesn't really add up to you like I don't understand why they just can't leave and just move on because that's what you would do but of course you know everybody's not like you and then um everybody can't make sense of things you know sometimes people just you know they rest in their their feelings their emotions and I like some people have addictive personalities, so they like things to be addicted to. You know, they like a go to. And Aquarius, it looks like now that you have escaped, I heard, okay, this person wants you back. Um, and they're addicted to maybe getting you to come back, okay? They don't like the fact that, um, yeah, you put up a block, restraint, control. Damn, can't make it up. Now they like you. I like you. This could even be somebody new. Uh, romance is blooming. You finding somebody new to date. 
I can't make it up. You you have, you are ascending Aquarius. You're going higher, transcending the obstacles that were put in your way. You learn to heal yourself through God, through spirit, through universe, right? And now you can even help other people heal themselves. You're preparing for a new phase and a new union, okay? Wow, you're coming into a level of stability, security, permanence, growth, and flexibility. Yeah, especially with trying and flow in the now. But in the near future, you're definitely going to just be in a place of stability because you've already done the work. And we've already talked about universal law. You just It just has to come back to you. You did it. So, um, bolt. That's what I'm saying. You're going to get what you need. Progression. You're moving on. It's some closure issues probably for somebody else. Maybe for you a little bit. Yeah, for you, this spirit be talking. For you, baby, it's the coffin. You done. Okay? When you put things in a coffin, you typically aren't, you know, going to uncover them, dig it up, take it out of the coffin, dust it off, and take it home. No, it's dead. You know, so you definitely are, you know, liberating yourself, transitioning, growth, changing. You just don't want it back. Especially if somebody or somebody's are coming back to you in the same energy. It's like you've already transcended transcended that energy, that, that lesson. It's like, why would I go backwards? And it could have been with your, I know y'all going to love this, um, Twin Flame. Yeah. Um, yeah, it could have been with your Twin Flame. You know, you guys complemented each other perfectly. It was like yin-yang, duality, balance. But um, somebody just wasn't ready for the the journey. Either whether it was you, Aquarius, or the, or the next person. I don't know. Somebody just wasn't ready for it. And it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's leave you with some shells and get out of here. Your oh, readings have been beautiful, Aquarius. Okay, so abundance. Abundance is coming. Maybe, uh, yeah, you, some of you are going to have a new career. You're going to be showing other people the way how to make maybe smart decisions. Or you made a smart decision in your life to walk away and leave. Um, yeah, leave some lack situation where you weren't getting enough or you were getting just enough. Wow, you had spiritual growth, Aquarius. This is so beautiful. Family, we talk about family, family, family. And some of you are breaking the chains of mama didn't have a husband, daddy left, you know, daddy is a cheap beat. Oh, mama, somebody stole the money, somebody put, you know, all of this craziness, the whole, you know, um, Tyler Perry story. You, you know, you just don't want it anymore. You just, okay. You just, oh, done with the whole Tyler Perry movie type of dynamic. You know, it is what it is. You can't go back and change the history, but you just want to, for the, for the generation coming in or the generation to come, you just don't want them to have to go through all of this, this, this craziness, you know, and, um, you're just trying to change, you know, um, you're just trying to change the energy. I heard the motivation. Okay. Or change people's motivation, especially in your generation. And even if you didn't have the Tyler Perry story, it could have even been something as, okay, now needs a Tyler Perry story. It could have been, you know, like, um, abuse of some sort. Mental, emotional, sexual, physical, you know, you, you just don't want that for, the generation that comes, so you're trying to really break the chain here. We have like a lot of cards of chains and breaking and family and cursing, and you know, so this looks really good, Aquarius. As usual, some of you have business. I pull one of the all I think the what is it called? Oh, got it right here. Hang on, the deck angels in your biz. Okay, so the angels in your biz card. I just said. And it's typically about business and career and so forth. So, let's see. All right. Plan it out, Aquarius. Got a number nine, which is a God number. It's time to get more serious. It really is. Plan it out. For some of you, you just aren't as serious. You do a lot of talking and 
talking, 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 not enough action. Plan it out, write it down. When you write it down, it typically it increases the probability of it coming true. You always got something to come back to. You know, even if you forget about it, clean it up one day, you find that old notebook, you flip through it, and you're like, Oh, I remember when I started to write down my business plan or write down my plans. And now you got something to actually, you know, go from and stick to. Write it down. You can't have it up in your head. That's just not enough. Write it down. Get it out. Um, and gratitude. Be grateful for where you are. Be grateful for everything. This is another nine. Um, spirit is in your life all the time. Give thanks for all you have. I, I didn't even read that. Yeah, be grateful for everything you have. Um, be grateful for where you are. Even if you feel like it's not enough, it's just enough. You're always just having enough. Um, abundance is coming to you more than enough. Abundance is. So that means we have enough to give away. Um, take it out in your backyard and burn it if you want to. You know, you got more than enough. You, you throw it up in the air. Um, whatever. You'll have more than enough eventually. Um, do know that. Um... That's what we have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. You want to get your own personal reading. Uh, I, I extended the $25 10-minute reading. So take advantage of that. Um, it is uh, 10 minutes for $25. It's on the phone or Zoom. Please indicate when you book and then that little note section if you want Zoom or phone. If you don't, I'm just going to call you on the phone. And then you're like, I'm on the Zoom. And I'm like, I'm on the phone. So, I don't know what you're going to do. No. Uh, we'll get it together. But, you know, it just makes things flow even better if you just say Zoom. Or if you, you know, say phone. So, anyhow, um, 10 minutes, $25. Can't beat it with a stick. I know people were talking about, you know, affordability. This is it. Take advantage of it. Um, come, ask questions, get clarity, and then make plans, make actions. Don't just get a reading and, and then just say, aha, I knew it, and then do nothing. Okay? I hope you don't do that. Uh, anyhow, um, thank you, Aquarius. I'm live every Tuesday and Thursday. I think I'm switching up Sunday. I, so, I don't know what day I'm going to go live. I might even move it to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I might just do that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, but I will keep I'll keep you posted via the community tab and these readings if you listen to the end, I guess. Um right now it's Tuesday and Thursday. I need my Sundays. So because it's gonna be a busy season for me and um I just wanna sleep too. You know, I would like to get some sleep. No. <laughs> Anyhow, um, take care. Many blessings. Everything you need. If you want to get in contact with me, if you just want to say thank you, if you took something from the reading, you took a little bit from the reading, you could always get back. I love coffee. You could buy me a coffee. The link is below. It says buy Ella coffee. You could donate any donation, get new cards, whatever. I don't know. Um, what else? Shout out to all of my people in New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas. Houston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, London, Florida, Minnesota, Minneapolis. Is that the same? Anyway, I don't, I don't know. Um, so, um, yeah. Shout out to those places. I have high viewership there. So, thank you. Let me know where you are viewing from. All right. Take care. Many blessings to you.